Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in Fredericksburg, Texas to check out an elevated dining experience with a great scenery. Let's go inside Cabernet Grill. Joining me now is the owner, Chef Ross. Thank you so much for having us out here. I really appreciate it. This is a spectacular view that is right behind us. And you have made this like a destination in Fredericksburg. You've been out here for over 15 years, is that correct? Yeah, actually we're going on our 19th year right now. That yeah. is, that's wild. Absolutely. Did you think that in 19 years it would be as developed? And I mean, this looks like a little like fairy playground out here for people that want to come visit uh, Fredericksburg. <laughs> It is definitely a world all of its own and it's a great place to just relax in. But, you know, we've been building on it year after year after year or so. You know, you are such a renowned chef. You have so many different ideas and right in front of us, we have a, a display of some of the top items that you have on the menu out here. But the one that's sitting right in front of me grabbed my attention right off the bat. <laughs> a chicken fried ribeye covered in lobster. Absolutely. <laughs> that's, I mean, how can you beat that? That sounds over the top. I don't think you top. can beat that. I mean, that's <laughs> that's about as good as it gets right there. Uh, talk to me about the, the preparation for this, though. What goes in? I see there's a little bit of, I mean, there's a lot of extra things going on here besides just the lobster on top. Sure. So we start off with a certified Angus beef ribeye that we pound out. Um, after that, we take our lobster tails and we pull the meat out of the shells. And we cook it real slow. We butter poach it so it's just perfectly tender just super flavorful and succulent. Mix that in with a little bit of our uh, cream gravy, uh, as well as some uh, roasted hatch chilies and Ooh. a little bit of bacon as well, because bacon makes everything better. This is comfort food, right? And you're just executing it on a different level. I mean, but a lot of these elements, especially with like what's in front of me, I mean, you've chicken fried a ribeye. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> this is the bite. Chicken fried ribeye, lobster on top, all the sauce that you want, bacon, here we go. Club. Ooh. I love that. The chicken fried ribeye with lobster on top is exactly what you want it to be. Super decadent, savory, that sauce is nice and creamy. The breading on the outside of the ribeye is nice and crunchy. On the inside, the ribeye is pounded so it's super tender and that lobster is just succulent, cooked to the perfect temperature, nice and tender as well. I mean, if you're looking for something that's off the beaten path that you never tried before, this is the one to get. If you want something a little more southern, you got fried chicken on the menu, but it's not your average fried chicken, right? No, it's not. It's not mom's fried chicken by a long shot. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me about what's going on in this dish. Sure. So what we've done there is we've incorporated a little bit of new technology into it. We sous vide our chicken. So basically what we're doing is we are cooking that chicken low and slow in a little plastic bag, which holds in all the seasoning, all the juices, all that. We cook it for several hours until it's almost fall off the bone tender. Then at the very last minute when we get an order for it, bread it up, flash fries. Crispy on the outside, moist on the inside. Just, it's, it's what fried chicken ought to be. I'm gonna try to be a little proper here. This is a really gorgeous place out here. Now look, super moist and tender on the inside. This is exactly what you want. Just cooked beautifully, crispy on the outside. You have two different sauces out here as well. What's going on with those? Sure, so the first one right there is just your classic uh, chicken gravy, although we make ours from scratch. We start by roasting bones. It takes uh, three days mm -hmm. in order to put that gravy together. Uh, second item I got right there is I like it spicy, so we've got a little bit of honey butter hot sauce for drizzling Ooh. over the chicken. I want a little bit of this body here. You got the crispiness on the outside, some of the breading, the sous vide chicken on the inside. I'm gonna have it by itself, but then I'll dip in some. I wanna find out what's going on though. Here's the bite. That is incredible. I feel spoiled now because I don't want chicken any other way. <laughs> you gotta sous vide my chicken before you deep fry it. Now this is a big old piece. I'm super excited. That's a lot of chicken on the inside. I'm gonna try this hot sauce, chicken and hot sauce. Look at that. Here we go. I went for it. Mmm. Oh, wow. Woo. Chef, you should bottle that up. <laughs> come on. I've been asked. Mmm. You guys, this is the place to come to. Cabernet Grill. I mean, enjoy the desserts. Enjoy the food. Enjoy the hill country. And you know what? The weather is spectacular. And when it is, you can really enjoy everything that's happening. You know the little water running in the background, too? Rather tranquil, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It is. I would just walk around here. I'm going to dip a little bit in there. Y'all, come out here and enjoy yourself. Texas Eats. We'll be right back.